Hello, I was asked why do gay guys talk with a lisp? Okay, so I can talk through my own experience. I can say that I used to be really hyperactive and I could even show you a video of that where you can see how I talk a little bit where it's like I talk too fast and it's almost as if you get too hyperactive and your mouth gets like lazy and you don't realize that you're making some words sound kind of gayer than they should and things like that. Um, and then it, it's more, it was more of a hyperactive thing for me and I feel like it's more of an insecurity thing for some people. Like I think that a lot of gay guys I've known, it's, it's almost as if they don't know how else to act or something. And then, you know, I don't know whether that comes from how their brain is engineered different than straight people and all that stuff. I don't know if you're interested in that. Um, there's only been one gay guy that I felt really, really carried it well and he just kind of seemed like a girl in a guy's body and I was just really, really comfortable hanging out with him. But a lot of gay guys, it's kind of like, I don't know, they act girly and they don't, they don't really know how to carry it off. They have a lot of girl mannerisms. They're, they're very backstabbish. Um, it's almost like they don't know how to act, a lot of gay guys I've found, which is unfortunate. And then there's the flip side, where there's been people that have told me that they're gay, that I, I would have had absolutely no clue whatsoever, and it's just a huge twist and a huge shock, and, you know, those people are more comfortable in their own skin a lot of times, but not all gay guys are like that. People need to break the stereotypes a little bit. <laughs> it's not always one way or the other. I... Anyway, if I could think of anything else, maybe I'll let you know. And there's a couple other things I might have you want to watch. Maybe I'll put in the description.